it's only been a few seconds since the last video, but I figured, you know, I'm in the car, let's get it in. You know, while it's fresh on my noggin. Now, in this video, we gotta talk about sisters. Sisters. Mid-season finale. So, it's gonna be a few weeks before we get to the next episode, but we gotta be waiting on it. I think now that it's mid-season finale, we might get some Satima, Satima on BET Plus. Posted. You're looking out for that announcement. But right now we gotta talk about sisters. Did we do we have to really say it? But cause we do what was gonna happen when it came to those twins that Karen is Karen. Of course, Sack is the daddy of one of them. You hook up. Hell, you nasty. The other one belongs to preacher man. We know this. Do we need this? Yep. You got two babies and two baby daddies. One pregnancy. Two babies, two baby daddies. It happened. You nasty. So now she got to see. Those were break lights. You. I don't know. How are you? So she had so extra shocked when the doctor said it. But anyway. Now, the conversation that she had with Sabrina on the phone while she was at the salon, how did she not realize Karen, not Karen, how did Karen not realize that Pam, ugly tail, no, I'm not a fan of Pam, I don't like Pam, don't care for Pam, she can go, she should have been on the Oval and one of the ones that got popped off, because she can go, Karen can go, as far as I care too, I don't like her either, but Pam eavesdropping on her ear hustling on her uh, on Karen's phone call. So, but I don't see how Karen couldn't notice her tail standing there, literally standing there, ear hustling. So, Sabrina got her job back, manager, branch manager, and I'm happy for Sabrina. She she should have got her job back because she really didn't have nothing to do with what dude did last season. You know, and I'm glad she got. Oh, look at me! I don't even remember Maurice's name, and I'm not a fan of Maurice either because he does too much. If he would just settle down with the shenan with the shenanigans, I think I would like Maurice. But all that flamboyant, extra, you're doing too much, dude. We all know what you are. Do you have to do the extras? But okay, whatever. Anyway, moving the hell on. Now, Sabrina called the girls. She want to have a little get together at her boyfriend's store, and it's starting to rain. I was hoping the rain would hold off, but for mocktails, you know, because Sabrina's trying to have the IVF, you know, trying to have her eggs extracted, all that good stuff. Karen's pregnant with twins, so she can't be drinking. So she figured, let's have mocktails. And of course, Karen being Karen and her Debbie Downing tail. It's like, you know, Danny, this, 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 this. And I, I feel Danny. Why, why are we friends? We're not friends. You don't like me, and I'm cool with that. But we have mutual friends. It is what it is. We'll get to that. So they, they get out the phone. They agree to meet at the, at the restaurant. And so, but Karen don't want Fatima there. Ain't did nothing to that girl, but made a better man out of sack. And now Karen hating on it. Karen hating on it. And I don't know why you hating on somebody that don't want you. You know, if he don't want you, he didn't want him. As long as he's single and was broke and didn't have nothing to do but depend on somebody, you was all gun ho for it, you know. But when you got over it and got tired of it. And whatnot, you put it, you kicked them to the curb. And what, but the thing is, you kicked them to the curb like yesterday's trash. But guess what? Somebody came along for Timo, skipping along for Timo, and recycled your trash. It made them better, made them greater. 
that's all she did. She didn't down talk him. She didn't talk crazy to him. But anyway, anyway. So, Sabrina initially was only going to invite the four girls. You know, the circle crew. Circle group. Well, Karen turned around and invited Pam Nosy Tail. Nosy and Nessie Tail. Hey, 60 years old want to be an influencer. You can't influence yourself out of a brown paper bag. <laughs> so, Karen invited Pam. Why? I don't know. It's not like the girls really dislike Pam. They just don't like Pam. You know, if they, they tolerate Pam for who she is to Karen's salon, you know, but other than that, they really don't care for the Pam because they have tolerate her. And so, they call, they, all the girls get called, and Karen calls Danny. Why would you let Karen call me? And Danny's, Karen's like, don't invite the unfamiliar person. Okay. Well, don't tell Danny not to do something and then expect her not to do it. Because that's what she's going to do. Exactly what you don't want to do. And that's what Danny did. Danny called the table. Hey, girl, we've been having mocktails and such and such and such. such. Yes, Karen's going to be there, but we want to invite you anyway. Karen? Not, not Karen. Fatima's at, uh, like, at the off law office having lunch with Seth. You know, so she's like, okay, I'll think about it. Set. Sorry about that. Alert came through on my phone, so knock me out of my video. But I'm back. Uh... Sex, like, you should go, you know? Like, y'all gonna have to figure it out. Y'all gonna have to make something happen. Make, make it happen, you know? I mean, we having a baby. You know, it is what it is. So, the team goes. Well, Andy's like, Andy shows up, like, hey, you know, we gonna roll together from the office. And, and she was like, it was a last minute decision. It wasn't nothing, no big deal. Well, shit hits the van. You know, Karen mess tail pops off with Fatima. Well, of course you're going to pop off because you know nobody's going to hit a pregnant woman. So you know Fatima's not going to hit you or put her hands on you while you're pregnant. That's why she's letting a lot of the stuff you say saying slide. Because it doesn't make sense put my hands on you and you're pregnant. That's not right. Pam says something. Says something, you know, chimes in and some people put her in her place. Like, I can't touch her, but I can touch you. Shut, shut up talking to me. Who are you? You know, who, and she said, who are you? You are nobody. You know, basically, is what she's saying. It's Pam's a nobody. She's talking about roots edges or whatever she's trying to set, promote on social media and like I said you couldn't influence me out of a paper bag you can't influence yourself out of a paper bag but it is what it is Dan, not Danny uh, Karen and Danny had some words and best believe I really do feel that if Karen wasn't pregnant that Danny and or Fatima would have been laid her tail out. That's exactly how I feel. Just how I feel. And so, Andy gets his phone call and she turns and says, well, me and Fatima gotta go to the emergency. Because, remember, Penelope is, was last week's show, Penelope was pushed by Gary in the office. This week's episode Gary got a cleanup crew in his office cleaning up the blood and stuff. Now, where Penelope ended up at, we don't know. He didn't send in a spy to infiltrate Penelope's brother's campaign. You know, because you know, he's trying to implode that too. So, 
the emergency that Andy and Satina had to go to was pretty much to go manhandle Gary, but Gary wasn't going for the overkill. And so, but it's all going to come to a head. It's all, when, the, when the other half of the season come back, it's going to come full circle. You know, because Gary, Gary going to get his bottom line. So, that's pretty much what the sh how it ended this week. So, again, like, comment, share, like, comment, share, subscribe, please, please, please subscribe, hit that subscribe button, that like button, comment, any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below, and I'll make sure I get back to them, and if nobody told you today, I'm going to tell you, I love you, and that you are somebody, best believe, we're all somebody, just got to keep stopping, keep, keep stepping, don't stop because your ego may be right around the corner. So keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. You didn't got up today. Keep moving forward. Because you, your win is coming to you. Best believe it. So, again, like, comment, share. Love, peace, and hair, peace. Bye.